Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining me for today's uh, webinar on the October survey. I just want to remind everybody if you have questions to put it in the question, the Q&A box, Q &A box um, and we'll answer those at the end. All right. And I will also mention that a copy of this webinar will be posted um, within a week um, and the notes as well. Okay, so today we'll be reviewing the October survey, which is located in CNP web within the forms tab for program year 2025. Um, and this is to be completed on October 31st. Um, and claims cannot be filed until the October survey is submitted and approved. And we're gonna be walking through the steps right now. So getting started, just as always, you enter um, your username and password into CNP web. Um, you're gonna log in, go into the CNP, CNP program, and then into program year 2025 as highlighted. Oop, I too quick. Uh, and then we are going into, I can, all I can see is Paula's move you out of the way. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, where the forms tab is at the sponsor summary. You're going to click the forms and you'll see the October survey listed and it will say uh, the description, the, the line is, does say survey is to be filled on the last working day of October 2024. You're going to hit that plus button and that will put you into the October survey. Um, and this is also a notice there. Um, it does say um, the forms have to be in pending approval, but that is not true. They have to be in approved status by the 15th for you to get your claims. Okay. I need to move the picture again. All right. So this first... Um, snapshot is for those, it shows this, this specific um, school is just one site at this, the school has one site, um, but you may have many sites within your district. Um, so they would all be listed here. So you would enter the information per site. Um, and this one, our first example is going to be if you are regular claiming or your base year for provision to school. So if you're a regular claiming or your base year provision to school, you would put your total enrollment, uh, the number of students at that school in this total enrollment category um, box, I'm sorry, right here, my pointer. Um, so you have 100 students, let's say, uh, you're gonna put 100, 100 in that box. And then you're gonna indicate based on the free introduced meal applications or, and direct certification, you're gonna indicate uh, how many students in each grade level are free and how many are reduced. Um, you, we're not worrying about the paid students, just the free students and the reduced students by grade level. And that is it. That's all you're going to be doing. So you would do it for each school and then you're going to hit save at the bottom. And we'll go over that in a minute. This next uh, example is if you're a provision two non-base year. So this is your years two through four. So step one, this is a multi-step process. So this first step you need to do is you need to know what your base year free and reduced eligibility percentages are. Uh, in the help tab in CNP web, there is a report called the eligibility percent report. And this is a, this first snip, snip right here is an example of what it looks like. Uh, you are going to, your base year is, 
for your lunch and your free at lunch, free and reduced, whatever it is, whatever it may be is listed for you. So you're actually only going to put in on this spreadsheet, you're going to put in your enrollment um, on this spreadsheet. So if you have 125 students, you're going to put that that number in this Excel document and the computer will calculate it for you. So to get your new free enrollment, which is right here, and your new reduced enrollment, what the what the calculation is, is it's taking your, your in, total enrollment for that school, 125, and timesing it by 0.287, and that's giving you the 36. Um, same thing for reduced, 125 times 0.032. And these numbers are your, are your, uh, are your percentages um, on your base year, based on your base year. So, oop, sorry about that. Let's go back again. So from this, um, you will then transition to CNP Web. Step two is you go into CNP Web, your October survey. So that 125, figure goes right into total enrollment is your 125 because that's your 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 enrollment for that school and then you're putting your new enrollment which was 36 from based on our calculation and for this you're just going to put in the 36 in the highest grade level so for this example i'm saying that um, this school the highest grade level is 12th grade so i'm putting the 36 in the 12th grade um if the highest grade of this was sixth grade, then I'd put the 36 in the sixth grade. Um, the reduced new enrollment is four based on the 125 times the 0.032, and that is four. So that's gonna go into the reduced. And that is how you figure out um, the provision two non-base year. So again, you're gonna go to the help tab in CNP Web and the there's the report is the eligibility percentage report it's an excel document um and you can get that will list you find your school on the sheet all the schools are listed so you just find your school alphabetical order and then plop your um go ahead and put your total enrollment for each school that you're looking for and the system will calculate it for you For CEP schools, this is a little bit different. Um, again, um, we're using your percentage, your um, free claiming percentage, um, and that can be found on your um, claim form when you file your claim each month. And this is a snap, snip, a snap of your claim and it has your CEP percentage listed right there. It's also on the letter that you receive from David as well. Um, that letter indicates your CEP percentage, free claiming percentage as well. So that, um, so you're using your your free claiming percent for lunch, which is the 44, the, for this example, it's the 44.48. So, Sorry, again, I'm not used to using, <laughs> I should have brought my mouse, I apologize. So for this example, your current enrollment as of October 1st is 11 students. Um, the school's free claiming percent is 44.48%. So the calculation again is the same as the um, provision two, 11 times uh, the 44.48%, which is five, and that's using the rounding, using standard rounding procedures. So then we're going to um, transition again to this, uh, to the um, October survey in CNP Web. We put the 11 students in the total enrollment. And again, we're putting the, the five, the new free rate, the free student, um, the number of free students based on that calculation in the highest grade level. So that is at sixth grade. So that's where we are, we're putting that there.
Um, let me see if, okay. So again, just a little recap. Your CE for CEP school, you need your CEP free percentage rate, um, which is either on your claim on your when you file your claims each month on the eligibility um, section of your claim, or it's on the letter that you receive from David Hartley of your free claiming percentage, and you're taking that free claiming percentage times the number of total in. And for, yes, that's it. Okay. Oh, thank you. <sighs> thank you, Paula. She just gave me my mouse. Ah, so much better. <laughs> okay. So after you've completed um, filling out each of your schools, you then are going to click the certification box right here at the end. Um, all of your, I will say, let me move this over here. All of your, if you have multi-schools, there'll be a grand total and it'll all pull down at the bottom over here underneath. But once you're done, you're gonna click the box for certification and then you'll click the save box. Uh, that if there are any errors, the system will tell you to fix them. And then um, it sends to the state for approval. And that is it. It's it's that simple. I just as a heads up, I will be um, when you how we will be checking your October survey is I am actually using the same report that I have given you to use, and I will be plugging in the the your total enrollment that you're giving us. Um, that you're telling us to make sure your calculations are correct. So if you get something back from me saying um, you need to correct, um, your free reduced numbers are, are not correct, you need to return. Um, that is why, because I'm using the same exact um, Excel form you are and uh, to make sure your calculations are correct. And I think that's it. So just a reminder, you're going to be looking for the help tab for your report, for that eligibility report. The help tab also has, um, actually, I believe it has this exact webinar that I've just done for you in there as well. Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm, I apologize. It has it has a different it has a set of directions as well. So it has the user guide, which is is similar to what I've just gone through as well for you. Paula, do we have any questions before I keep you, mumbling? <laughs> you have one, Jody. Yes. Are we using the 2024 information? Yes, you are using the 20. Tw you are using the 2024 information. If you are, if 2024, if you are a provision school too, and 2024 was your base year, the only way you're actually going to have your percentages is by running this report that I've given you, uh, not by pulling this report in the help tab. Um, unless you've actually completed a September claim, if you have completed your September claim, then in the eligibility, in the claim section of your eligibility, you'll actually see your percentages there. It'll say um, provision to lunch and breakfast, um, your eligibility um, base year numbers. So that's where you'll also find them. But if you haven't filed a claim yet, you won't see them there. So that's just another place where they are, just like CEP. Did I confuse you, Paula? No, it's just the rest of that was that she was, she is for, special provision two. And when she looked at the base year report for F25, it was blank. And then she just said she- The report. The report. It's not a report. It, so the report that you're pulling for the report, give me a call is probably the best thing. So again, the, the, the report that you need to complete this is in the help tab. And it's called the um, 
it's on. It's called eligibility percent report. It's the eligibility percent report in the help tab is what you'll find. It says, and then when you when you print it, it says 2000, or when you look at it, it says FY25 provision two base year, free and reduced eligibility years two through four. If you're provision one, again, you don't need this report. Um, so if you're, again, if you've already filed your claim, just like CEP schools, you will see on your claim form, instead of CEP, it'll actually say provision two and it'll give you your percentages here as well. Any other? No? Wonderful. So if anybody else has any questions, any anything you think of later, give me, uh, feel free to give me a call. Um, again, um, well, there's my phone number and my email. Um, I can't, honestly, I can't check the Thursday update. Um, I put very, uh, put report, I <laughs> add important reminders there. Um, I just very highly recommend everybody looking at that. That's how I communicate any open office hours I might have. Um, or any important accounting information, anything that you need, I make sure I put it in there. So uh, just as a reminder, and I think that is it. So um, have a great day and thank you for joining me and um, we'll catch you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks, bye-bye.